Hey guys, I am back today with a new video on this look. If you are new to my channel, my name is Sydney, and yeah, subscribe. <laughs> so if y'all want to see how I created this gold cut crease type thing, um, make sure to keep watching. First is prime my eyes with the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Fair Beige. And I'm just going to take my beauty blender and go in and blend that out. Now that that is on, I'm going to take my airspun powder and I'm just going to set my face and I'll be taking it on this Eco Tools brush. Not set my face, I'm going to set my eyelids. So I'm going to just take this color by MAC in the shade Texture and I'm just going to go ahead and start mapping out my cut crease and I'm just going to take this little brush, it's shaped like that, and we're going to go in. Actually, I'm going to take my regular brush, my tapered brush. I'm just going to go in with that. Alright, there's a little bit of a lighting change. I had to go retrieve my modern renaissance, renaissance, renaissance palette. And I will be taking burnt orange right here on this little tapered brush. This is the Naked 2 brush. And I'll be putting it right there with that other brown shade. Or orangey kind of shade. All right, next I'll be taking Love Letter right here. Putting it right there. That this is not a face chart Friday look, but it is inspired by this face chart right here. And this face chart is by Anna Sabazada. Butchered that, I don't know, but that's her username. If you want to find it, that's it. And this is the face chart. And like I said, it's just inspired. I'm not trying to copy this face chart today or anything, but yeah. And then I'm going to be taking Cypress Umber on I'm just going to take it on this brush, this little tapered brush, not tapered, it's like a flat top brush, but it's kind of flat, ah, there we go. And I'm just going to take that very, very, very lightly, all in. That upper crease. And then I'm just going to take this brush and Really smoke it out. All right, now those are all on. I'm going to go in with this um, Urban Decay Naked 3 brush and I'm going to take red ochre and add it to where I put all those other colors. And this time I'm going to really pack it in there and then blend. So I'm going to pack. And I'll just be taking that brush again and really blending it up and out. Those colors are all on. 
I'm going to go in with this super dark purple shade. This is the color Sketch by MAC. Little single eyeshadow. We're going to take this Urban Decay, not Urban Decay, this Eco Tools brush, little tapered brush again, and very lightly swirl it around in there. And very, very lightly put it across. I'm going to go in with my, I know I'm using a lot of palettes, I am. Like I said, from Morphe, I'll be ordering like the little single eyeshadows so I can use more of those and not have to switch through like a thousand palettes. But I'm going to take Busted in the Naked 2 palette, as you can see. It is Busted, <laughs> but I'll just be taking that on this BH Cosmetics brush um, 106. And there is a little bit of the black in Blackout, so I'll be mixing those two, even though the black is broken. And I'll just be trying to create, not trying, but I'll be trying to carve out my crease a little bit to really define that, if that makes sense. Actually, let's dust it off. Next, I'll be taking my Tarte Shape Tape and I will be cutting the crease and I'll be taking it on this little brush. This is called a smudge brush and it's just flat and it's an oval shape so I can really get in the crease of my eyeball. Hopefully I don't mess this up because this is my first time ever doing a cut crease. Wow, trying new things, branching out. That's a first. All right, so I'm just gonna take it. I'm like really not happy with that. Uh, yeah, if you're trying to learn how to do a cut crease, don't watch this video. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm just gonna take red ochre and kind of blend out that cut crease a little bit. I mean, you really won't see it by the time I put glitter on, but. I'm just going to take my NYX Glitter Primer on the little squirt on the back of my hand and I'm going to do one eye at a time. I don't know if I want to use this holographic glitter or this gold glitter. I'm just going to prime my eyes or glitter glue my eyes. Now I'm just going to take this glitter on the back of my hand, that precise brush that we used for the cut crease, I'm just going to take it on that and go in and pat it down.
All right, that does not look half bad. I'm proud. Yeah. So I'm going to go back in with this little brush and I'm gonna take black out and that dark color again. And just really go around that glitter and darken it up. Make it really prominent. Like that, that looks good. And I'm just gonna take this little brush. Actually, I'm going to take that brush, make it three brush. Really smoke out that black. So what we're gonna do is I'm just going to take a powder brush and wipe away all those sparkles and glitter. What I'm going to do first is apply mascara and I'll be taking the Mally Morris More Mascara. Just applying that to my lashes. Oh, that hurts so bad. I'm going to curl my lashes with my Tarte Eyelash Curler. And I will be applying my lashes off camera, but these are the lashes I will be using. They are my Ardell Demi Wispies Double Up. And my other lashes are in the mail right now, or they're like coming in. And I'm super excited. So, yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so now that those lashes are on, um, I'm going to go in and start my face. So I'm going to prime my face with the um, Vitamin Enriched Bobbi Brown Face Base. And just gonna take that on a little beauty sponge. It's really dirty, but that's okay. And just go like this. I love this stuff so much. And then after that is on, I'm going to take my um, professional primer and just put that on my cheeks where I get really oily or really big pores. I'll be mixing my Infallible Pro L'Oreal foundation and my Born This Way foundation. Because I'm in between like skin tones kind of, if that makes sense. Like my body is losing its tan. But yeah, so we're just going to do a tiny, tiny bit of the L'Oreal Pro because that is darker. And that is in the shade um, Natural Buff 103. And I'll take my shade Porcelain in the Born This Way. Now that those are mixed. I'll be taking my beauty blender and just dipping in and blending away. Okay, so now that it's on, I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and it's in the shade Fair Beige. It's the only shade I have. I need to get more because it's really pale, but I'm really pale, so, you know. I'm just gonna leave it like this. Just kidding. That would be a look if I left it like that. All right, now that it's all on, I'll be baking like usual. And I'll be using my regular airspun powder Bacon, you know, um, I will be going ahead and contouring my nose. So 
I'm just going to take my Shading Light palette and take this shade right here, these two light shades, and just contour my nose up. Nothing special. Now we're going to bronze and contour my face and all that. So we'll be taking the NARS Laguna bronzer. Now that we are all bronzed, I'll be taking my Shade and Light palette. I'll be taking my Shade and Light palette and this brush. Are we in focus? I think so. And I'll be mixing those two shades that I did for my nose and contouring my face. Oh no. Not again. Next, we're going to just brush off all that fake with my powder brush. I'm just going to take my MAC blush in the shade Melba on my blush, brush, powder brush, and we're just gonna give my face some color. What I'm going to do next is carve out, make sure you have a sharp line. And I'm just going to wipe that off immediately. Alright, so what I'm going to do next is my under eye... What's it called? My under eye uh, eyeshadow. And I'll just be taking it on this Eco Tools brush. It's just a little tiny brush. And I'll be mixing into... Cypress Umber and Red Ochre in the Modern Renaissance palette. So this one and then this one. Dust that off and we're just going to go in. Now that it's on, I'm going to go ahead and prime my, not prime my face, but set my face and I'm going to do my highlights like I usually do. And I'll be going in with my Nicole Guerrero palette and I'll be mixing Glow Getter and Daydream. So it's these two right here. And I'm going to spray one side like I do and do the highlight and then spray the other side. There we go for our glow. And for our lips today, we're going to mix Beat and um, Birthday Soup.
So that was it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed and liked it. So make sure to like this video and subscribe. It's either on this side or this side. I'm not sure. It's on one of them. So make sure to click that big red button and share this video and I'll see you on my next video. Bye!